Um, you know, very competitive game. Really proud of the way our guys finished it. Um, I thought uh, Blanton really tough guy to handle one-on-one. -on -one. He makes a, lot, makes a lot of those tough twos. Um, but just give a lot of credit to our guys. We got down there 54-50, and the group that we put in um, just, I think they got 12 straight stops. So uh, that was the difference in the game. We, um, I thought we started well, did some good things early, and then kind of relaxed. And Eastern Kentucky did a nice job of settling into the game. Into the game, And um, you can tell they've got a good program. Their guys are used to winning. AW does a great job with them. Um, and then they, you know, just kind of whittled, whittled their way back into the game. And uh, we did not start the second half well. And uh, thankfully, we finished it. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the way our guys guarded, especially Zachary. He did a terrific job on Blanton in the, in the second half. Um, and then we just we did a little bit more inside out and did some good things to, to finish it off. But good win against a good team. Questions for me? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny in that timeout when we were down 54-50, I thought there was a point there where our guys were like, I don't know, we were just, we were, it's almost like we were playing not to make a mistake on either end, and it felt like, you know, they made some tough twos. You know, you're 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 in a tough spot against them because they got a lot of guys that can make threes and stretch it, and, uh, you know, they made five threes in the first half, and... Then all of a sudden you're like, hey, we can't we can't give those up. We got to hang tough. And then that guy starts making twos, and he's like, they're guarded. He's shooting over us. He's scoring. Um, you know, we just kind of got a little soft and just. And then on offense, I thought we just didn't play with the same aggression and uh, got a little tentative. And I kind of told him in that timeout, hey, we just need like we're at home. We just need to make a couple defensive stops, make an effort play or two, get an offensive rebound, get a steal fast break and our crowd will get behind us and that's kind of what happened we got a offensive rebound by Ian I think we got a steal by Dell obviously he made the three um, and then the game shifted our way we, we continued to get stops so um, yeah Dell's a tough kid and uh, you know we love his his energy um, his competitiveness he's still learning how to play on offense but um, when you put him in the game you know he's going to he's going to compete Yeah. What did you kind of learn from your team in this game? Yeah, just that we we needed to get stops and we did, um, and that's been good. You know, we've we've started games well and been able to stop people, and then in the second half when we've had a lead, we haven't done as well. So um, to be able to change that um, this game and get a couple stops when we needed it was really important, and um, that was probably the, the difference in the game for us and something we hadn't done to win. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he's, he had a little cut that got infected, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's just dealing with it. We're just kind of day to day. Do you think sort of facing this that kind of adversity in a game like this early is going to be beneficial to you guys down the stretch, especially as you start playing teams like Boise State? And getting yeah, I mean, it, it, it's good to be in some games like this where you have to execute and deal with some game pressure. And, you know, these games like this are always a little harder – on the high major team when the game gets close and late because there's the pressure is to win like you, you're supposed to win and the, it almost there's no pressure on the opponent and so those guys kind of play with a free mind and sometimes those guys can shoot well on games like that when you're not supposed to win you can just kind of let it go a little bit and uh, so dealing with that is a good thing for our guys and uh, you know we've got some older guys that have been through some wars I thought they showed that tonight. I think he's okay. Yeah, I think he's fine. Um, he obviously plays really hard and is involved in a lot of contact, and and uh, but I think he'll be okay. And Jaden Zachary played uh, 39 out of 40 minutes. Though. Was that yeah. the plan? Was dealing out? Was that kind of the story? Well, I knew that our guys were going to play. We were going to play guys a little bit longer. Um, but no, and I didn't expect him to have to play that long. I didn't. You know, he was the guy that was doing a great job defensively on Blanton, and uh, you know he wanted that challenge, and so we just, you know, when it was going well, there. There was no way to take him out. He was, you know, he he wasn't gonna allow me to do that. I know you said you wanted more from your defense in the second half of the first two games. Just were you pleased with what you saw overall oh, yeah. tonight? Yeah, I was in the second half, and we did, we had spurts in the first half. We we did some good things. We started the game well, 
Um, you know, they made a little run on us, um, and a lot of it was rebounding. Our defensive rebounding was very poor in the first half. You know, some of that, Ian Shefflin was on bench, foul trouble. And we got to have guys like Chauncey and some of our guards have got to go back in there and rebound the ball better. Um, you know, we you know we're, we played Miles a little bit, but then you know we're pretty small. Then um, we don't we don't look like the high major team that we we can when we've got our bigger guys. And so um, rebounding was a factor for sure without without uh, Ian in the game. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. And kind of the game yeah, mostly just relax a little bit. Like this was, you know, we the game pressure, like you can start to feel it on your players a little bit, you know, a little anxiety, and you're just trying to get them to relax. And, like, we're fine. There's plenty of time left. Like we're, you know, we again, we just need to make a couple of effort plays. Like focus on playing harder. You know, don't, don't focus on being perfect. Don't worry about a missed shot. Don't worry about trying to – out execute somebody like we need to be aggressive defensively and we need to be active on the glass and then we need to convert with pace and transition and see where see where that takes us you know I just felt like we were a little bit just playing on eggshells a little and uh you know it was kind of like hey settle down we're fine and let's let's get a competitive group out there that wants to guard and uh those guys did a great job I think it was okay. I need, I need to look at, you know, there's a couple mid-range shots that he shoots that, you know, they're not the greatest a percentage shot, but he makes more than most um, because he's long and athletic and he can shoot over top. It doesn't bother him as much. There are times I think he settles instead of taking one more physical dribble and getting closer to the basket. Um, you know, we've got to coach him on that better. We've got to help him. Um, get to spots and, and get his confidence a little bit. I think he, he lost a little confidence tonight um, in the middle of the game. Um, got bumped around a little bit a couple times, had a couple balls kind of go out of his hands. Um, but he'll be fine. He's a good player, and, and uh, you know, he'll, he'll bounce back and be ready to go the next game. Everybody okay? Thank you all for being here. Oh, is there somebody? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we work on situations like that at various times. Um, you know, that was a great play by – Chef to make a great pass and and Wiggs to go up and catch it and make a big play. I give my staff credit because they kind of reminded me, hey, coach, we got the timeout here, so if they make it, let's use it. And uh, so we called the timeout, and then you know our guys had the poise to execute. So yeah, it was it was a good momentum boost for the uh, for the halftime. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you.